Next month, a team of heroes is coming to the mountains to help others who've served our country. The Wounded Warrior Amputee Softball Team will play two exhibition games locally. The proceeds benefit Operation Welcome Home, which provides scholarships and job training for veterans. They'll take the field May 17th at McCormick Field in Asheville and May 18th at West Henderson High. Honor Air founder Jeff Miller says those games will be a win-win for struggling vets. At the same time, we get to honor a very humble group of veterans that have fallen on some hard times, maybe from mistakes they've made in their lives, and, and a lot of times just, uh, just bad time and bad situation. The Wounded Warriors softball team reminds us of the resilience and the sacrifices made in times of war. Well, the money raised during those games led to a priceless result. News 13's John Lee joins us now. John, those dollars go toward life-changing programs. Some amazing stories. Today we met many vets who have a new lease on life, now armed with the skills to fight for their dreams. I enjoyed serving my country. At the ABCCM Veterans Restoration Quarters. It's been amazing. This kitchen is far from a war zone. In fact, it brings them a sense of peace. Navy vet Doug Lee is on board. Culinary school was offered here at ABCCM. That program provides the ingredients to help rebuild their lives. I was trained as an aerospace propulsion technician, which is a jet engine mechanic. Just six months ago, Michael Wood says his life... I actually went through a divorce. ...spiraled out of control. And lost my job. Everything went downhill in a hurry. Eventually lost my place to live. Homeless but not hopeless anymore. Michael wants to own a barbecue restaurant someday. A dream before but now uh, seems like a reality. And beyond this kitchen, Operation Welcome Home fuels opportunities for others. Like Vietnam vet Victor Jordan. It gave me my life back actually because I, I was a down and out vet. Commercial truck driving school changed that. This program has, has changed my character. They've saved my life. Under the same umbrella, the Steadfast House provides support for women like Kate Scroggs and Sharon Pendarvis. And help you through any stumbling blocks that you come across. Kate battled drug addiction. If I didn't have a chance to go there, then I would be using again. It's help that restores their inner GPS. Such a good program for people that have lost their sensibility of uh, life. Not too late for those who served America to renew their faith in the American dream. Thanks to this place, uh, I, I will be able to get my life back on track. Look forward to his barbecue. So the Wounded Warrior Amputee Softball Team will play here with all of the people you just met in mind. For more on the exhibition game scheduled in Western North Carolina, just log on to WLOS.com and click News Links.